ಮೋತಿಗೆ ಏನು ಮಾಡಕತ್ತಿದ್ರಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ I'm one very happy girl who loves pulling the string every now and then as and when I'm passing by. Thank you so much each and every one for building up this community to 50,000 subscriptions. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Sun is shining nice and bright keeping us warm today. My plans for today to keep an easy kitchen with not much cooking. I'm planning to make cheese balls for dinner so getting the hunk curd ready. in a wide bowl to hold the sieve as i transfer half a pot of greek style yogurt you can use homemade yogurt as well say around 6 tablespoons or so that i keep refrigerated to get hunkered which will separate the whey to the to get the thick yogurt i want to utilize the sunshine making the most of the weather uh, a good clean of the garden is much needed after playing with holy colors um, the color has stayed on on these tiles needing a good wash So I wet the floor surface. Um, my husband keeps reminding me very often to be very sensible in using water, gas, and electricity as the household bills are all spiking up. Um, do you get to hear the same at home? Just let me know. I'm using baking soda to sprinkle onto the few of the tiles which have been very strong with the colors using. a good scrubbing brush a garden brush uh, even though i complain at times doing everything without a house help i personally prefer this um, keeping myself active using my muscles for good and to be honest this is how i easily burn off all the calories despite eating so much throughout the whole day it's such a nice warm day i can see the tiles drying up so fast Uh, now with a damp brush i just swipe cleaning and dusting off the garden furniture i will just give a little clean off with water for now rather than using a lot of water i will just wait for the rain which i'm sure it will start raining in a couple of days cleaning up completely i'm already feeling so hot in this jumper and wet with my feet that i have to go and get changed quickly into my summer clothes it's amazing to feel the change in the weather drastically baking soda has definitely worked its magic and it smells so good with the smell of soil i'm speaking and sensing the earthly smell it's heavenly i'm already feeling so hungry after all that i've been doing but i really don't feel like doing anything much on the gas making me more hot so here is my air fryer that i like to plug in and use it for the entire day no hassle stress free This air fryer from Altenic is super light in weight to carry and move around. I like to switch it onto my island. It is also preferred to keep it away at a distance from all sides when using. So my island and this place making it just perfect to use. The touch screen panel on the top making it very easy and straightforward to anyone using it for the first time. I set to preheat. The temperature and time is all preset making it perfect and easy. I have a pineapple tin at home and fresh oranges. I love eating fruits given any time of the day and this weather makes me feel the want to have more. So I thought let me create something with whatever I have at home. Two slices of pineapple and one full orange. Grating in fresh ginger smells so good and I sprinkle in cinnamon powder as well. A few drops of fresh lime and a few drops of olive oil. I give a gentle mix and transfer it into the preheated air fryer setting it just for 5 minutes time. And then flipping them over onto the other side for the next 5 minutes. I don't have to stand to caramelize them. I can get the job done by just pressing the button. I just remembered I have a tub of triple chocolate ice cream at home. Oranges and chocolate are such a great combination. I add in a few almond flakes. Making perfect as a little treat which was super quick to make. After all the work in the back garden, I can literally finish eating it up all within a minute. 
and why not we ladies need to sit down and make a plate specially for us make yourself happy when you are happy you can easily make others happy around you it's 6:30 in the evening and daylight is still on this is the beauty of british summer getting the dinner ready with hung curd and lots of cheese i'm making cheese balls with yogurt separated from its whey i transfer the hung curd into the bowl adding in around 2 tablespoon of plain flour cheddar cheese this is a big block of medium cheddar that i grate i have used 200 grams of cheddar cheese to this i add a teaspoon of parsley i'm using wholemeal bread to make bread crumbs i like to use the top and the bottom slice or should i say the two ends with the crust on that i tear into the mixer jar to get the bread crumbs i haven't added any salt as mature cheddar is slightly salted but if you wish you can add in salt and pepper powder i have mozzarella cheese in a plate to add in as stuffing i combine the whole of the mixture with my hand and it's always easier to wash and clean those hands to make balls i have a bowl of water to dip in my hand scooping a portion creating a little space in the center to fill in mozzarella and cover up from all the sides keeping them all ready it's always important to preheat the air fryer to get started basically it's just like heating up a vessel before you start cooking so that it's ready to use i have broccoli that i have cut into florets Now that the air fryer is ready and now that the basket is hot I place it on the hot resistant stand Now you can add in a few drops of oil but we thought let's give a try of making it completely oil free for today's dinner cooking for tonight's dinner without oil The air fryer has roti vegetable setting with time and temperature preset In the meantime I'm making bread bonda ready. We just love eating bread bonda at home but the amount of oil bread soaks in after deep frying makes us want no more you know. But today the same bonda I'm planning to make in the air fryer. I'm using wholemeal bread and cutting the crust from all sides. We'll use it later to make bread crumbs. Making bread bonda is all easy if you have any leftover vegetables at home. I love making this for my kids in the evening for after school snack. Um I have capsicum palya, red sauce pasta, watani usli and bali kai palya. Broccoli is now done with air fryer ready. I just continue to use it to make cheese balls. Now the best part of air fryer I don't have to stand to keep stirring and to keep an eye. Just tuck the food, close it and press the button to get cooked. and i can parallelly work on many other things i give a dip to the bread slice in water squeezing in to drain off the water still retaining the bread shape you can use any filling or any sabzi that is left over at home or you can also make a specific one for this i stuff in and cover up the sides we don't have to worry much about sealing the edges as we do while deep frying and this is my favorite part that i don't have to worry about it getting opened and this process of uh, packing and sealing the bread uh, when using the air fryer makes it a lot fast and quick leftover pasta tastes really good as well as a filling in the bread that you have got to try i can always come around check and give a shake These cheese balls are looking all lovely. They're yet to be done, so I better get finishing with packing the bondas. I have four different varieties of filling for today uh, that I fill into two slices each and then we will share cutting in half so that each one of us will get to eat and taste all different fillings. 
and yes they all will taste different to one another even with the cheese oozing out i have got nothing to worry as it would have been with the oil in the kadai they are quite tempting and i'm loving the fact that i didn't worry much about packing the cheese balls and the bread bondas with the stuffing ready in bread bondas in it goes into the air fryer straight away i press the bread button on the panel to make bread bondas after 3 minutes time i flipped them over to get the crispiness on the bottom as well now at this point you can add in a few drops of oil if you wish to api hing martini angandre on chur warm it bidli china age ba ready ate ella mamma ready ba food can also be kept warm if you're not ready to eat straight away they have turned really nice and crispy without even a drop of oil i have chaat masala and fajita powder to sprinkle on to the bread bonda salt and pepper for broccoli absolutely oil free cooking for tonight's okay. dinner and the best part for us ladies yeah. as an air fryer that we can do so many other things parallelly and don't have to stand in front of the hob to cook food making it perfect for summer days and for healthy cooking bread bondas taste really good with a sprinkle of chaat masala and fajita powder dominishka is the best ha uh-huh. mm. ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಫೇಸ್ is what all men like from my dad to my husband is what i have understood so here in this recipe book that came in with the air fryer has plenty of options with different varieties of recipes that can be cooked using the air fryer from starters to main course to even desserts so i choose to make a dessert for today called coconut macaroons it's simple and very easy and my husband loves the flavor of coconut so this is the one I have washed the condensed milk tin and measuring it up to 1/3 cup in a mixing bowl. 1 egg white, 1/4 teaspoon of vanilla extract. The recipe also mentions to have 1/4 teaspoon of almond extract, but I don't have any at home for today, so I just skipped it. 1/8 teaspoon of salt that I just mix well. To this I add in 1 and 1/2 cup of shredded desiccated coconut mixing until well combined just perfect enough to hold its shape I try my best to use minimum vessel for the day lifting up small portion to form balls certain sweet dishes are so easy with less ingredients needed and you are very certain that you can never go wrong and this recipe is definitely one of those With all the balls now ready, I have desiccated coconut to roll the coconut macaroons until covered. I have the air fryer set to preheat. keeping all the balls ready together at once pressing the dessert option adjusting the time to the recipe guidelines as it asks for 15 minutes time and now they are ready these coconut macaroons are now ready I use a kitchen towel to clean, wipe and clear off after cooking in the air fryer. It's lunch time and I'm really hungry. Most of the time it so happens that we don't tend to cook anything specifically for us. But now with my air fryer, life is a lot easy making it interesting. I don't have to heat up the oil, just a few frames um to what I need, to how much I need. 
perfect for me and I love curd chili but when I deep fry them uh, the oil becomes so strong that I have to discard straight away and also the smell throughout the whole house. I smear very little oil onto the dried chilies and fry them just coating them and setting the air fryer just for a minute and when there is nothing left over for my afternoon lunch when I'm all alone at home by myself this is what I do. In a very small container I have water set to boil. Life is all colorful and the very boring afternoon lunch made all interesting with these fryums and chilies whenever I want. I'm using MTR rasam powder adding in a teaspoon of the water to make an instant rasam with very little of salt. Now this is not one of the best wow factor rasams but definitely worth eating on days when you are least bothered to cook. We call it as apad bhandu. A little pickle making it all fancy and tasty for an afternoon solo lunch. I have made gajar ka halwa and coconut macarons. Thought it will be nice making a chura. So here is to me making masala makai poha. What are you doing? Two sweet items in the chance that I will have gajar ka halwa. Yeah. And then I will have macarons. Yeah. Sunsal pachura. Yeah. 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 to a handful of peanuts and a handful of roasted gram also called as darya dal or putani or kadle. Choto uses the air fryer more than I do. It's a lot safe to use for kids than using the oven. It's easy to operate and very easy to handle too. I add in a tablespoon of oil to make the quickest of the chuda ready. My husband prefers homemade sweets than a cake. So here is a simple treat for a simple man with the things that he likes. Choto makes this cake pop and a little chocolate heart. Keeping the coconut macarons ready and the gajar ka halwa gets a heart shape. Chuda is now ready. I add in red chilli powder and salt. Combining well. The birthday platter now ready. We also follow this tradition of doing aarti for everyone's birthday at home. He definitely prefers to light the candle than to blow the candle. Birthday messages and a little gift that is in need makes him all happy. I hope you all enjoy moments with your family members and making them happy with what they like and the way they like. I and my family have been really keen on having an air fryer in our kitchen all this time. But thanks to Altanik for sending this over to us. We truly are in love with it for healthy and safe cooking. Please make sure to check out the description box to find the link and also a special discount for you all.